title of my research is Effectiveness of Lumbar Support with Built-in Massage System on Spinal Angle Profiles Among High Power Traffic Police Motorcycle Riders. And first of all, I would like to thank to the committee for inviting me to this conference. So uh, this is outline that I will cover in my uh, presentation today, from introduction till conclusion. And I will start first with the introduction. So uh, the first one, uh, based on the Hevisin et al. 2018, low back pain has been affecting the world with a high recurrence rate and caused the loss of function and disability. And this disorder usually affect the vehicle users, especially the motorcyclists, as the current feature of a motorcycle seat still lack in providing a good process support for the riders. And this is a based on the previous study from India, Aruna Kalam et al. 2019. So uh, the next one, uh, based on my previous study, we found that the seating discomfort of motorcycle has become a crucial issue and need to be distinguished, which it involves a limited space, more restriction to posture, prolonged riding, and which this, all of these factors will lead to the muscle discomfort and musculoskeletal disorders among the motorcyclists. So uh, motorcycle is a very important, which it also used as the main transportation for some occupation, such as a food delivery, poster delivery, and also a traffic police uh, riders. So uh, in Malaysia, 4% out of 137,000 police officers are traffic police, and more than 50% of them use a motorcycle as their main vehicle while on duty. And what is their duty? The duty of traffic police in Malaysia is to regulate, a control, regulate, control, and divert any traffic, to investigate road accidents, to prevent obstruction on public roads and streets, and to escort via VIP or any event and patrol as well. So, uh, this problem arose in Malaysia, which uh, in 2018, uh, Royal Malaysian Police have made, a, uh, have made a statement which in Malaysia, the trend of early retirement among the police officers uh, is at an alarming level, which uh, this is because of their workload pressure and also the health problem. So this is a factor why uh, most of the police officers in Malaysia uh, do uh, retirement early. So in Malaysia, what statistically show MSD are continuously increasing every year, uh, especially in occupational factors uh, based on so, so And also occupational use of motorcycle could impose high risk and early retirement from the occupation. And this is from the previous study, Buzame et al. 2019. So as you can see here, in the, on your right side, which is a, this is a news about um, the statement from our chief in a, Chief Officer in a Royal Malaysian Police, uh, the trend of the early retirements in Malaysia. And as you can see here from the so so, uh, Social Security Organization reported that uh, these SM MSD cases among the workers in Malaysia keep arising. Okay. And then uh, the main problem here is the majority of traffic police riders suffer from MSD and most of them suffering low back pain. And based on my previous study, we found out that this is because the issue number one is prolonged riding, which involve uh, average uh, more than five hours per day. And then it involves a uh, static and awkward posture, which is impossible for them to maintain a good posture for a long period of time. And also the limited adjustability of a work station, which represent the motorcycle, motorcycle, and also the muscle and seat discomfort is high among them. And then what we, we do with what we did uh, for this uh, problem, we approach uh, by develop a motorcycle seat prototype, which involves a lumbar support, a lumbar massage at ratio of one minute on and four minute off. Uh, we choose uh, this uh, timer based on college at all 2015 because they found that this is a good timer for the uh, lumbar massager for the uh, driver because we cannot continuous, continuously open the lumbar massage. So uh, we must set the timer uh, and this is the best uh, best time that college at all purpose uh, for the driver, the car driver. And then we use a roller type because it is a very, very good uh, massager, massager type, uh, which is it, it good in the blood circulation and then also the adjustable lumbar support. Okay, uh, so the objective of this study is to evaluate the effectiveness of lumbar support with the built-in massage system on spinal angle profile among traffic police riders. 
So uh, for the literature review, uh, this is based on previous study which a muscle fatigue could happen during the riding process due to the focus and force needed to control the motorcycle and at the same time require them to maintain a spinal posture. So this is why the motorcyclist involved with the muscle fatigue, which they cannot hold the uh, posture, the best posture in the long time. And then in Malaysia, a previous study found that the most riders complain of muscle discomfort when riding a motorcycle, especially in the low and upper back region, after 30 minutes riding process. So this one um, on the right side involves a seat. Uh, seat, the literature review regarding a seat, which the first one, lumbar support help reduce muscle discomfort among motorcyclists. And then the backrest at a height of 100 millimeter at least on the motorcycle seat surface will reduce the discomfort and could happen in maintain a posture such as configuration was suitable for long distance traveling. So this is what we suggest for this study. And then the lumbar massage has reduced muscle fatigue and low back discomfort, increased oxygenation and driver performance during prolonged driving. And this is based on the kit out of 2007. So the methodology for this study for the study design, uh, we random, randomly uh, assign 24 traffic police rider using a randomized control trial pretest and post test control group design, which uh, 12 of them uh, we assign in a control group and another 12 uh, riders we assign to the experimental group randomly. So uh, this study have uh, eligible criteria, which involve the inclusion criteria and also the exclusion criteria. The first one, inclusion criteria involves a male rider because 90% uh, of traffic police riders in Malaysia are, Malay, are male. And then the age group requirement is 20 to 39 years old because uh, based on previous study, more than 40 years old are usually prone to experiencing a low back pain due to their age factor and also the spinal posture. So uh, at least one year of experience in high power motorcycle riding uh, we selected for this study. So for the escalation criterion, the present of any injury Mm, among the respondents, especially low back pain in the 12 month preceding the survey, we will uh, exclude it for the, from this study. So uh, the study location, okay, we have conducted this uh, location in the Kuala Lumpur Traffic Police Station and we use a Maju Expressway uh, or short form we call a Max Highway. Uh, we choose the, this highway because um, this is a, a we want to we want to control we want to control the road, okay. So that uh not so that every respondent use the same road, and then this is a uh, nearest to the Kuala Lumpur Traffic Police Station, and the respondent need to ride the motorcycle from Kuala Lumpur Traffic Police Station to the KLIA Kuala Lumpur International Airport, uh, and then back to the Kuala Lumpur Traffic Police Station, and this uh, will take around twenty minutes. So um. Uh, the next study uh, I will cover with the, about the study instrumentation. Uh, in this study, we use two true posture smart shirt. A true posture smart shirt, um, the participant was required to wear a true posture smart shirt to monitor the spinal posture throughout the 20 minutes rides. Wow. Okay, as you can see in on your right side here, this is an app that connected with the phone, with my phone. Okay, for the app, so that we can see how the how the spinal posture moves. Okay, uh, the blue one represent the uh, reference posture of the respondent. Okay, we set the posture first. Okay, the respondent first, we need to sit in a motorcycle and uh, with the straight posture and upright posture so that we make sure that the spine uh, in a good condition, in a good position. And then the yellow, Yellow color represent how the real time of the spinal posture move. So that from that we calculate the deviation, how much the deviation or difference between the reference posture and also the real time posture over time. Okay, and then uh, the pretest and post test were conducted in this study uh, about one week interval. So uh, this is an overview of my invention for this uh, motorcycle uh, seat. Uh, the first one. I uh, the lumbar support, the lumbar support have a function which is uh, adjustable upward and downward and then they have uh, it have a massager installed in the lumbar support with a uh, two 3D rotating balls and then the timer as I mentioned before 
the massager will set a ratio of one minute on and four minute off. However, it can also be turned on or off by the user as needed. And then this uh, prototype also support up to 150 kg of body weight. So this is a data collection uh, procedure. The first one the subject wore the true posterior smart shirt. Sorry, uh, the subject wore the two true posture smart shirt during the monitoring according to the ideal riding posture. And then the spinal reference posture at the zero minute riding session was set first. And this is uh, what I explained before. And then respondent need to ride a motorcycle for 20 minutes using existing seat and also the prototype seat. Okay, for the existing seat, uh, the control group uh, will use in the pre-test and also for in the post-test. Okay, while the prototype seat, the experimental control will uh, we use in the pre-test. Uh, in the pre-test, the sorry, in the experiment for the experimental group, the existing seat will use uh, in the pre-test and the post-test they will use a prototype seat. So the observation of ready possible observe and analyze among research team and all the data gathered from the questionnaire and through posture apps were analyzed using IASPSS. Okay, so uh, this is a result and discussion. Uh, okay, for from this, you can see the distribution of social demography and occupational profile between the control group and also the experimental group. Okay, as so you can see here, there is a no significant difference between both groups in terms of their age, PMI, working hours per day, and also riding in the Okay, this is an example after 20 minutes ride uh, using an existing motorcycle seat, uh, also prototype motorcycle seat. Okay, the spinal posture. Okay, uh, the first uh, result for the deviation of spinal posture angle throughout 20 minutes. Okay, so you can see this interval uh, we set for every two minutes. Okay, the, the red color represent a control, uh, control group in a pretest and then control group in the Post test for the orange color represent experimental in the pre test and also the yellow color. Uh, the last one, yellow color represent uh, the post test for the experimental group. Okay, uh, it cover the thoracic one, thoracic egg, lumbar one, lumbar three, and also pelvis. So every sensor, um, it represent this uh, area. So uh, from our findings, we found that the sensor one have a huge changes. Like, uh, when the respondent using the existing seat. So throughout 20 minutes of riding for both group. Okay, as you can see here in the picture, represent the red color because um, when we compare uh, when they start until the 20 minutes later, we can find that we can find that uh, the, the deviation is a very big in a thoracic one compared in sensor one compared to other sensor because uh, this supported by quant at all, which thoracic angle is usually related to the outcome of a slump posture. Okay. When the riders are uh, riders uh, riding a motorcycle for after 20 minutes, we can see they uh, apply the slump posture when they are riding. So therefore, officer using assistant seat proof that they could not maintain an idea and good posture while riding a motorcycle, indicating the leading cause of concern for this problem. So, uh, okay, this uh, another result. Uh, that, as we can see here, a median score of five different sensors between the pre-test and post-test study in a control and experimental group. Okay, as you can see here, there was a significant difference in the spinal angle profile between the pre-test and post-test session in the experimental group, as I highlighted in the blue color here. Okay, so you can see here, um, control and experimental group in control, uh, there is not much difference between pre and post because they use the same uh, seat, as in seat, but in the uh, experimental group, we can find there is a significant difference between uh, pre-test, as we see seat, and also the post-test uh, prototype seat. So the study proved that the prototype seat proved provides a positive effect on the spinal posture of motorcyclists in adjusted and maintaining their spinal posture, which can serve as a channel for the distribution of the force as well as static loading by the body. So in this case, the intradiscal pressure could be reduced and the supporting back muscle was successfully enhanced in this study. So uh, 
this study found that prototypes, uh, these uh, motorcycle prototypes have correct the spinal posture, which uh, the upright posture of the motorcyclist, better than the absence of lumbar support. And uh, this prototype also efficient in change the pelvis and spinal structure to their natural curves during sitting for a long time. And uh, this indirectly reduce the load on the ischia area, lower spinal, reduce muscular activity, maintain lumbar nervousness, thus uh, it potentially can reduce the risk of developing low back pain and also musculoskeletal disorders. So the conclusion for this study as a result, in the view of uh, economic, uh, a lumbar support with a built-in massage system is effective to improve the muscular skeletal health, which uh, in this study, it focuses on maintain the spinal posture among the motorcycle riders, and therefore directly had the potential in reducing risk of MSD from this occupational work task. So this is my publication award. Okay, that's all from me. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Dr. Dr. Atira Diana. It was a very great innovation. Now, uh, we come to... Uh...